white hat holsters. Got a sweet new holster here. Let's take a look at it. I gave them a call to see if I could get a holster for my uh, Keltec P11. They didn't have one in stock. It wasn't part of their uh, inventory. But uh, Tony over there told me that if I brought my gun by and left it with him for just a bit, he'd have me a holster ready to go same day. So check it out. There it is. Awesome stuff. And I didn't even expect that. Pretty sweet. Got that thing engraved for me. And then also, I got a secondary Kydex scabbard here for a Smith & Wesson bodyguard uh, with a laser on it. The cool thing about their holsters is once you buy the actual leather holster here, you can switch out um, almost any different scabbard size for any different gun. Now this one right here is the Micro Tuck. They also have a, a larger version for the full frame guns. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can also use a lot of the full frame uh, guns with the Microtech here. You just buy a different size scabbard. Um, I haven't worn it yet outside. I kind of messed with it a little bit inside the house and, uh, you know, kind of had my gun in it and walked around. Now I'm going to do uh, some long term testing on this thing and tell you guys what I think after I've actually broken it in and used it for a while. You have an option to get the uh, metal spring steel clips here or the nylon clips. And um, they both serve different purposes. The nylon clips are super easy to take on and off, um, especially to put on. You know, they have this beveled edge right here. It's really easy to get these things on you. The metal clips are also a little bit wider. So for the, you know, tactical belts, um, you can use these metal clips. And to me, they feel a little more, um, they're harder to get on and off, but they give you a really secure fit. If you're wearing a smaller belt, you may have a little bit of up and down movement here. There you go. You can see that this might be might be better for a smaller belt. It all it, it, it's all up to you, and it's a factory. Uh, it's it's an option. It's the same price whether you pick the steel ones or the nylon ones. Um, and then it came with hardware. There's different hardware for the nylon. Um, the holsters start out at an awesome price, and they have a crazy good warranty. Um, they'll let you try the holster out for 30 days and if you don't like it they'll give you your money back I mean that's awesome that's really cool in itself and then also the Kydex here has a lifetime warranty if you ever crack the Kydex or mess it up they'll replace the scabbard for free so you can see you have a couple different uh, mounting options here I've got mine on the uh, highest setting to bring the firearm up high but I may play with it we'll see how it goes as with um, you know most of the holsters like this once you get everything figured out, they um, say that you should probably put some Loctite on the screws for the clips because you know you want a little bit of movement here, side to side, which is normal as you wear the gun or adjust it. But these little things can start to back back loose. But um, anyway, just wanted to do an introduction. Make sure you check these guys out. They have got a ton of different holster um, or sorry scabbard designs, several different holster designs. They have the uh, two clip ones like this. And they also have the ones with the single, um, I think it's a max clip design. So uh, really, really cool, awesome people. Make sure you check them out and uh, stay tuned for my uh, long-term review video. It'll probably be a few months. I want to make sure um, I really break this thing in well and get a good feel for it. But uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Feel free to contact these guys. Um, give them a call or look them up on Facebook. Awesome, awesome local company to deal with. Thanks for watching. I want to show you how I'm going to be wearing this holster. So I'm left-handed, or I uh, shoot left-handed, and I'm going to be wearing this right back here, right in this position here. So let's go ahead and get it situated. You see I'm using the metal clips. I've got a pretty thin... Um, EDC belt. The belt is by the way of the gun. So there we go. You can wear this holster in a bunch of different positions, but this is where it feels most comfortable for me. I'm a pretty skinny guy, 
and um, I was a little bit worried with the profile of the holster how much real estate it was going to take up on my body but it's not not bad at all there you go that's how you can see where it goes pulling out and reholstering is really easy and um, it'll take a little bit to wear this break this thing in but there you go there's a look at it